This is the sculpt from iCube Pro and uh, it's a great little laser engraver that fits your desk next to your computer. Uh, it has eye protection, it has air filtration, uh, everything you need to have yeah, right beside you. But there are also some drawbacks, so well, let's dive into it. As you know, I own a lot of diode laser cutters and engravers and most of them are big, really big. Therefore, I use them in a special place in my house because there I can have the fumes extracted and there is enough space to work with them. However, sometimes I would love to have a machine on my desk that just works. A smaller machine that fits and that has an air filter so that I can use it without wearing a filter mask or even safety goggles to protect my eyes. Also, this laser is fully enclosed and therefore a plus one laser device, but only when used correctly. If you want to, you can remove the protective cover of this machine and then there is no protection whatsoever and the machine becomes a very dangerous machine. That said, this is the only possibility to operate the machine with larger materials and therefore I recommend that you only use it for engravings that fit inside the box. If needed, some safety glasses are also provided, but that's something that you should decide on your own. Now for the specs. This laser is available in three different power options. You can buy it as a 3, a 5 or a 10 watt laser engraver. The wattage is the real optical power and therefore more than strong enough for engraving. The machine shown here is the 5 watt version and what I use it for, this is more than enough power to suit me well. The spot size of this laser is described to be only 0.06 times 0.06 millimeters in a square. This laser has Bluetooth 4.5 and 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Therefore you can control it wirelessly from your computer or mobile phone. The dimensions of the laser bed are 130 times 130 millimeters. The focusing distance is 40 millimeters from the laser head and a flip down lever makes it easy to focus the machine to the material. When unboxed the machine is very small and can easily be placed on a desk next to your computer or laptop. All connectors can be found on the right side of the machine and on the back you will find an exhaust fan that blows out the filtered air. Supplied with the laser you get a spare part filter kit and also a full repair kit. And this repair kit includes tools you need to open and adjust the machine. And a spare lens for the laser, might you ever break one. When used the iCube laser is an easy to operate laser engraver that works very well. The engraving bed has a small size but for things like coasters and such, well it's good enough. In the box the machine comes with an open bottom frame. That makes it possible to place the machine on a surface that you want to engrave. Then if you want to, you can use the supplied metal sheet to close that opening and use the machine on your desk without burning a hole in your desk might something go wrong. And this is where I made a modification. I used a piece of lumber with the dimensions of 18.9 times 15 cm to make my own bottom plate that fits the machine very well. I also engraved a pattern on it so that I can see where to place my materials that I want to engrave. The grid that I engraved will be available on my website in the section about this laser engraver, free for you to download. Now what do I think about this laser engraver? To start with, as an engraver it does a nice and precise job. Things you engrave come out beautifully and the machine works with repeatable precision so you can start a job over and over again if you struggled with the power settings for example. The lever arm is a great help to focus the laser and the fact that there's an air filter and a cover to protect your eyes uh, yeah, for the laser light and that it's a very small machine makes it easy to fit on a desk next to your computer. Now for the negatives I really miss an air assist on this machine. It should have one but no, it's just not there. There is a fan blowing air through the laser module that exits from the tip of the laser, but that's not comparable with the dedicated air assist. Maybe this will be a future upgrade and I will keep you posted about that. 
So far, this is the IQ Pro from Sculptfun, the 5 watt version. I love it and it will have its place on my desk for, well, quick and dirty tasks and all things where I don't need my bigger machines. If you liked this video, well, please consider giving it a thumbs up with that button on the bottom of this video. Uh, also subscribe to the channel if you want to stay informed about more things about this laser engraver or other laser engravers, maybe 3D printers or scanners, because I'll cover all those things. And uh, well, I see you in the next video. Bye bye.